Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this Adidas logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width I'm going to choose 1920. Height is 180. Frame rate is 30. And duration is also 10 second long. And background color is white. And simply hit OK. Go to choose Grid and Guide option and hit on Title Safe Action. Then press Ctrl I to select your logo. I'm gonna select my logo over here and I'll simply hit Import. And I'll bring my logo file over here. Now this logo is quite a use so I'll press S for scaling option and I'll scale it down a little bit at appropriate size like this. Now I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and I'll hide this first layer. Now select this logo, press S for scaling option again and increase the size a little bit like this. Okay, now I'm going to select my rectangle tool. I don't want any stroke so I'll delete it. And for the fill color, obviously you can choose whatever you want because this is gonna be act like a mask. So Let's create one rectangle, select this shape layer, press Ctrl Alt Home, press R for rotation and rotate it like this, press V for selection tool and by holding shift I'll bring this over here. Let's bring this downwards, select this big logo, press F4 and make it alpha mask, select this shape layer, press P for position, create one keyframe over here and go to around 5 frames and move this shape layer from here to here. So if you see this animation, we will get something like this. And if you want, you can change the duration to up to 3.15 frames. So as you can see, we will get something like this. Now select both of them and press Ctrl Shift C and let's call it as BG and hit OK and press T for opacity and let's make the opacity 20% like this. And if you want, then you can reduce it further like 50. It's totally up to you. Now we have to animate this logo also so for that what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select my rectangle tool again and then I'm going to create one mask over here select this press ctrl alt home again now select this logo choose alpha mat like this okay now select this logo press p for position create one keyframe go to around 1.15 frames and create another keyframe now let's go to the start and press the V for selection tool and by holding shift I'm gonna move this logo over here select those keyframe hit F9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift I'll move this handle over here so I'll get this kind of logo review now select both the layers and hit ctrl D to duplicate it go to the start press U and instead of uh, this logo at this point I'm gonna move this logo over here so i'll get something like this now select both the layers and let's move this over here okay so we'll get something like this now select both the layers press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as logo one and hit ok select these two layers press ctrl shift c and call it as logo two and hit ok now press ctrl n to create new composition and let's call it as ram and hit ok press ctrl y to create one solid background go to the effect and presets panel and search for gradient ramp effect so simply apply ramp type ramp over here and you will get this gradient ramp simply double click to apply so it will automatically apply this now right click new and create one what we call adjustment layer and go to the effect and presets panel and search for mosaic effect and simply double click to apply and let's make the horizontal blocks 20 and vertical blocks also 20 like this and select this uh, so i mean gradient ramp and let's swap this color so we'll get this kind of stuff now hit ctrl 0 again okay. we will select this ramp and we will hit ctrl d to duplicate it and we will double click now select this go to the effect and presets panel and instead of linear ramp i'm going to choose radial ramp and we will select this anchor point and we will move this over here and we will select this anchor point and we will move this over here so we have two ramp or ramp one and ramp two now let's go to the main animation comp and hit ctrl zero select both the ramps and make 
move them over here and let's hide both of them now select this logo to go to the effect and presets panel and search for time displacement effect and i'm going to select ram 2 for this let's go to the start and choose chord resolution so i'll get something like this now let's go inside this logo hit u select those keyframes and let's move them to 15 frames like this now also we will go to the logo one also and we will go to the 15 frames and we will select this hit u select those keyframes and let's move them over here like this now select this logo apply time displacement and now i'm for the ramp i'm going to choose this this ramp so we will get this kind of animation so let's hide this logo too for now like this so if you see for this one we will get something like this now let's go to the ramp one we will have something like this and if you see for the logo 2 animation we will get something like this let's go to the ramp 2 and if we swap these colors like this let's see what we will get we will get this kind of stuff okay so we have this uh, two animations so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna enable this not enable this but enable this logo one then uh, as you guys can see the time this in time displacement in fact uh, the displacement layer is ramp 4 so i'm gonna select the second layer and the fourth layer and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as one then i'm gonna select these two and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as two now let's go to 10 frames i'll select this two and i'll move this over here so first it will animate this and then it will animate this like this now select this layer and you can go to the fill effect and apply fill effect on it so it will apply one color on it and you are free to choose any color for this one like i am choosing something like this and you can select this and you can move this over here so we will get something like this and enable this bg like this you can select this bg and you can make the opacity to 5 like this then select this bg hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring this at the top press t for opacity and let's make the opacity to 15 frames i mean 15 percent and apply fill effect and make this let's say greenish color or you can choose white color also like this and you can move this a little bit forward like this so it will come on this one let's move this somewhere around over here press t and you can increase a little bit size of it okay now select all of them press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as final logo animation and hit ok like this now i'm gonna hit ctrl d to duplicate it press s for scaling option and we will scale it like this if you see in full solution we will get something like this and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one uh, what we call rectangle and again i'm going to create one shape like this select both the layers press ctrl alt home press r for rotation and rotate it like this select the shape layer hit ctrl d press v and let's move this over here press s unlink this and let's decrease the scale like this okay so we'll get something like this select both the layers press ctrl shift c and let's call it as mask for let's call it as big one and hit ok select this final uh, animation comp and choose alpha map so as you guys can see this is uh, masking this bigger one like this now let's select this mask let's enable it and initially i'll move this over here and from this point i'll create one keyframe over here and then i'll move this from here to here let's move this over here so if i see this i'll get something like this and i can move it over here also so if i see this in half resolution let's see how does it looks we will get something like this and we will select both of them and we will bring them downward like this
let's select this right click go to the layers tiles and choose bevel emboss go to the bevel emboss and let's increase the softness and increase the size like this so we'll get something like this and go to the shadow color and you are free to choose different colors like this and you can press T for opacity and you can decrease the opacity for this one also and you can move this thing a little bit over here so if you see this animation we will get something like this now we will press right click new and create one adjustment layer and i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll apply lens flare effect on it so if you see we will get this kind of lens flare so i move this anchor point over here initially let's create one key keyframe at flare center and hit u and we will go something around let's say six to seven seconds and we will move this from here to here so if you see this thing now we will get something like this and if you want then you can increase the lens flare brightness like this so you get something like this and let's decrease the brightness of it and you can increase the brightness i mean the opacity of this one and then increase the brightness of this one like this and at this point i want brightness to be stopped so i'll create one keyframe in the flare brightness hit you go few frame forward and let's make this brightness complete zero so now if i see this animation i will get something like this now the one thing is missing is that continuation so for that what i'm gonna do first let's go to the seven seconds and let hit n right click new and create one null object select all the layers except this uh, adjustment layer and make it apparent with this null one and press s for scaling option create one keyframe go to around seven seconds and let's make this 90 and initially let's make this 110 so if i see this animation now along with this uh, animation we will get one scale down animation for this logo also so yep this is how you can create this kind of logo animation in adobe after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned